Oh. Hey everybody, this week's video is brought to you by Post Share Sell. Post Share Sell. Every time you click it, Lulu gets a sweater. Hey everybody, this is Joey Panic here with What's Trending. And listen, I gotta get something off my chest. It is not Christmas yet, but now there I am today in my car enjoying my satellite radio when all of a sudden... Yeah, listen, all things in due time. No wonder we're all like, oh my God, Christmas is coming faster this year. Because it is. Because we literally started doing Christmas ads when the kids were getting out of school. Ugh. Sorry, I have a button and it's been pushed. I just had to clear my conscience of that. Now I feel better and now you feel awful. Now you know what my childhood was like. Okay, people were shocked once again when we saw what McDonald's food looks like before it's cooked. Have we forgotten the whole, um, uh, uh, this isn't the gesture I mean to be making, but have we forgotten the chicken nugget debacle of last year where it was just pink sludge? This time it was the McRib and we saw what the McRib looks like before it is cooked, which honestly I think looks like an air filter. But here's the thing about people that eat the McRib. I divide you into two categories. There are those of you that know that it's not real food, but you like it and you choose to eat it anyway, which, okay, fine, you know you're making an educated decision. The ones I wanna to talk to right now are the ones who think that they're going to McDonald's and there is actually an open flame with a pig on a spit in the back and they are pulling the ribs out of that. Like, look at this picture. This is not food. And I want you to know, it's like when people go to order smoothies thinking they're making a healthy choice and then there's like a pound of sugars being dumped in the back. Like those are the people I wanna talk about. I feel like I'm ranting today. I think I'm gonna feel really good when this is over because I, I will have gotten all this out on you and you all will be upset. But you know, anyway, all right, this is good stuff. There's a new app that I am obsessed with called Moment Cam and it was invented by the Chinese. Of course it was. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way, because listen, I love the Chinese people. I'm huge in China. <laughs> I actually literally am huge in China because they're so skinny. <laughs> um, this app, you take a photo of yourself, so already we're dealing with something I love to do, and then it has facial recognition software, and it will put a picture of your head onto a caricature so you can pose with Chinese leaders, which I've never done before. So now you get to do it. But look, I mean, the results are fantastic. So if you're looking for, I know everyone hates the new Bitstrip comics, so now we can all start doing this until people don't like those anymore either. There is a, 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 a chastity device for men where they will actually lock up their penis, and now it comes in camouflage. I know. <laughs> So now you know what to get me. I mean, I've found this on a couple sites late night when I'm doing research. Maybe we need to talk about the definition of camouflage because if only part of you is wearing camouflage, you are not camouflaged. Another page in the chapter of the Rob Ford fiasco. All right, so he admitted that he did crack and he admitted that he bought illegal drugs while he was in office. But today he cleared something up on live broadcast on the Toronto News because there's something he does not do. Oh, and the last thing was um, Olivia Gondak. It, it says that I wanted to eat her pussy, Olivia Gondak. I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. Thank you very much. So my question is not so much about the, the sexual harassment or the um, drugs. My question is more, when were we allowed to say pussy on live TV? Like, he's, he just said pussy. I am saying pussy and I'm bleeping it out. And I'm online, I can do what I want. I could show one up there if I wanted. But he just got to say it. People, this is a crazy time for television. We had a fight today about this sweater. She did not want to wear it. And uh, we had an argument. And so if you sense um, a lack of chemistry today, this is, it's why. All right, so the people that did the what did the fox say, I don't even want to talk about it, frankly. I would like to pretend like that trend never existed. All right, because I don't like it. I don't get it, and I don't like it. But they came out with a new video that I do get and I do like, and it is Air Horn Classics, where they insert an air horn into songs. And I gotta say, like, this trend started by the goats a while ago. This is pretty damn hysterical. You raise me so I can. 
Hör instrumentet med den oförglömliga klangen i samspel med Norges vackraste stämmer. Helene Böxlö. Hanne Sörvåg. So all right, people, that's it. Um, I apologize about the Christmas thing. I feel like I went a little bit harsh in the beginning, but I gotta say, I feel much better. So thank you for listening. And um, don't worry about Lulu and I, we're gonna be fine. This sweater thing is just a bump in the road. I mean, I told her this is not a deal breaker. This is just, these are things that happen in a relationship. I and mean, sometimes you fight, but you always make up. We had a fight today about this sweater. And here I thought it was just that she didn't want to wear it, but it turns out that it's actually a little bit tight. And um, I don't think I was sensitive for the fact that she's gained a little bit of weight. I mean, honestly, if you're gonna increase your food intake and you're not gonna exercise, Lulu, this is what happens. She's hit that age. Okay, well, it's, I can't, now I'm gonna talk about her like she's not here, I'm sorry.